go. All right, so that's what we got. Looks like we got a case of vertical collapse. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull the video board out, give it a look, and uh, see what we can do. We'll do some troubleshooting. We'll start with the solder joints. And uh, if that doesn't do it, then we'll definitely start narrowing down some of the components. So here we go. There is one more thing I wanted to try. I don't know if it's playing blind, so I'm going to go ahead and see if, uh, if the credits are working. So let me try that out. Well, I'm not getting any sound or any kind of clicks. Uh, this coin door is really wasted, really rusted out, so that could be part of the problem. But I'm not hearing anything either. The speaker's torn out, but it should make some sort of vibration or critical noise. But uh, let's get working on the video first, and then we'll take it from there. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've discharged that, what I've done is I've removed the four primary wires here. Green, red, yellow, and black. I also pulled this off of the stem, all right, and we have the, uh, the high voltage disconnected over there. Now, we've got lots of different points where we could pull this board off, but what we can actually do here is we're going to pull the whole, uh, the whole grid here. And so by doing that, we've just got four bolts. Let's see if I can turn this down here. Right underneath here, one, two, three, and four. So we're going to remove those, and then this should just lift right out. Got a nine inch, nine millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, and we got the next one here. Okay, so now I'm giving each of these screws a slight tap with the hammer to pop them out. All right, here's a creative tip for you. So once you get one of the first pins out, take it, line it up with your hole, and then you can take your hammer, pop the other one through. See that? A lot quicker than that took a minute ago. Nice thing about these videos is I use them as my references for when I put everything back together. It's easier just to follow the reverse order that I took it apart. So there you go. So our ground strap, I'm actually going to put it back in here so I don't lose it. Just a good tip. Okay, so as you can see, you can now remove the board. Okay, now we got a better view of the board. So we've got our high voltage here. It's got, always got to be careful of that. Make sure you ground those out. Um, what we're looking at is going to be the, the vertical circuit. This is filthy, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it into the, the workbench. Definitely going to clean this up, get some rubbing alcohol on there, and uh, do a thorough cleaning. Now, be careful your rubbing alcohol is not too strong, or you can remove some of these stencils, which are very helpful.
At this point, it's evident the soldering had some effect, but was not the root cause. So, it's time to replace some components. For this step, I needed to tear down the chassis a little bit further for better access to some of the smaller components. The components I focused on were the transistors that control the monitor sync circuit, Q10 and 11, and Q12 and 13. The most common problem with these old monitors is that the capacitors begin to wear out over time. Since I was going to all this trouble to tear down and rebuild the chassis, I went ahead and ordered a complete set of new capacitors along with my transistors. Once the parts arrived, I did a complete inventory of every component, which included noting where each one would be placed in the circuit. Once I got started, the whole procedure took about an hour and a half to complete. The removal and replacement techniques was the same for each transistor as it was for most of the capacitors as well. So rather than drawing out each tedious step, I'm just going to cover a few of the key highlights in the process. Double check, everything's hooked up okay. We got our flyback transformer. We got green and red going on there. All right, let's take a look at the other side. Okay, so we got here, green and red, yellow and black. All right, let's go ahead and get this fired up and see what happens. Lock, power, lights. Wait for it to warm up. Got buzz. And... Okay, what now? Did I do something wrong? 
Am I overlooking something? Is there another problem someplace else? Hmm. Alright. Well that does it for this episode. It looks like there's going to be a lot more troubleshooting ahead for us. Stay tuned for our next chapter, where this machine's rusted out transformer and coin door get restored back to new with a special rust removal technique. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to that geek guy so you don't miss any portion of this ongoing restoration project. I promise you won't be disappointed with the final results.